Alright everyone, welcome back. Now in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at Persimmon, which has recently reduced their dividends by a staggering 75%. This is definitely something that was predicted, but it was unclear as to how far the dividend cut would be. As a quick summary for those that aren't aware, I invest in dividend-based companies where the likes of Persimmon is one of my largest holdings. Given that the actual underlying stock price sold off quite significantly, I'm currently down 15%. Whenever there is a cut in the underlying dividend, this leads to a sell-off which in turn reduces the underlying stock price. So let's first look at over what happened, why the dividend was cut by 75%. So we can see that in the case of the UK, there is a slowing housing market and there is a reduction in the home building targets as well. These are some of the reasons why the dividend was cut by 75%. But what we have to be aware is that prior to the cut, we had a dividend yield of close to 18%, so extremely high. Such levels like this are generally unstable. And so when you buy into one of these companies, there is a very high probability that the dividend will be cut. And so in terms of macroeconomics, we have an interest rate set at 4%. That's the rate that the Bank of England currently has set. But then if you want to have a fixed rate mortgage, the likes of Barclays, for instance, is offering anywhere from the 4% for a five year, and then all the way up to a staggering 6.62% for a five year fixed mortgage. And the trend that we're seeing is some of them are close to 7%. And so that has pushed mortgages much higher. Two years ago, for instance, you were looking at around the 2% mark. And so that reduces the demand for people to buy their own home, which in turn reduces the demand for the housing sector in general. In terms of house prices, they've actually fallen in annual terms for the first time since June 2020, down 1.1% the last month. Now, of course, when you read news like this and you see a dividend cut, you often think, well, less money is going into our pockets when we invest into these dividend-based companies. And of course, that's true. In addition, when we see a decrease in the dividend price, the actual underlying value decreases as well. But this is the risk you have when you have a high paying dividend. And I often stay away from such companies but in the case of Persimmon, they've actually cut the dividend rate to around 4.12%. That's the value based on the current stock price. We have the likes of we have the likes of Google Finance, which these results on the screen take a bit of time to actually update. But actually what the company's done is very sensible. Any company that can see that there's a property downturn, which is what is being experienced right now, then they have to preserve cash and it often means a cut in the dividend as a result. The dividend rate was already extremely high and still having a 4% dividend is nice to have within your dividend based portfolio. We can see here that even with tough trading conditions, it will be more than enough to cover the earnings per share. This means that the earnings per share will allow the company with money set aside enabling growth. In terms of the 10% decrease, we have a current value of £13.10. That is a value that is expected to decrease in the short term, but may attract new investors knowing that this company is becoming more stable given the new dividend yield of around 4%. In terms of forecasts in the future, the percentage has decreased by 30%, with an expectation to build around 8,000 to 9,000 homes in 2023. If you look at the homes in the previous year, that was almost 15,000. But if you look at the pre-tax profits of this company, they've always been sensible with their funds. It's increased by 4% to £1 billion. And that actually be analyst estimates of under a billion or £983 million. And so that's the trade-off you have when you focus on companies with large dividend yields. As I say, a general rule of thumb is to stay away from these companies. But anyone who doesn't have a position or even has an open position in Persimmon, whenever the dividend yield is cut, you can be buying this company at a discount. And knowing that you'll still have 4% dividend yield, which is looking to be much more stable for the long term, then we may actually see the price in Persimmon although sell off a little bit initially, 
it may push back up in the not too distant future. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about Persimmon? Is this a company that you plan to stay away from or will you be like me and still keep an open position and potentially add more into the company in the future? New videos are posted each week. Thanks everyone who subscribes and watches this video. Do share the videos out with any friends and family members who may find this interesting. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next one.